Hello, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and also my first Hero Factory Brain Attack review. And starting out with uh, Raka and Scott Rocks from 2013, from 2013 or 2013, otherwise. So on the front of the bag, so which quite different than Breakout, so which, whereas you see the Lego and Hero Factory logos, which is uh, sideways rather than on top. But at least they went back to that with Invasion from Below. But if you bought this brand new wheel, then the top part with the hanging part would have the Brain Attack logo and one of the Brain Bug, of course, for that. Well, aside from that, see a picture of the sets that come within, and also see the name switch, and also just for the hero sets, is it says 400 game points for an online game with a laptop there, and also for the villain sets has that and also says one of the brain bugs included in it. And then other side which is a recommended ages, set number, amount of pieces. And then on the back of which you see the, the set in another position showing the features and also how they make the combination models so which which and also how you get that for the villain sets is just like Breakout is how the also villain sets also include the code for the online game and also available on the App Store since, since it, for later in the year, but yeah. And also actual size of the masks of which, or helmets obviously, and also that, and yeah. And now on to the instruction booklets, of which same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. Also, this little comic strip of which, of how the brain attack went on and phone with a QR code here. And also, this little how to start kind of thing, which first time these started to appear in the manuals, of course. On the back, went on the online survey, evil win kid still, but this is which last year of that, of course. And then add for her Lego Club and also a couple other uh, brand attack sets. Oh, which Breeze and Breeze here, which next, next throwback Thursday, of course. And also a combination model instructor, which this kind of thing. We're kind of almost like with the breakout ones, but instead of being focused around the villain pieces, instead it's the hero pieces now. Kind of weird, that is. And also add for the online and app games that there are. And then also the uh, Brainify app that you can get on your phones and all. But, and then all the pieces included, of course. First off is Raka, or otherwise third or fourth version of Raka, which as you can see does have the shorter limb pieces since making him a shorter hero, even though in break the last wave breakout was a little taller and all. Kind of odd how that is. Same going with Breeze in this wave and also Stormer in the second wave of course. But also, you get the size 4 armor piece in, in gold. Nice for mocking, of course. And also, as for the chest plate piece, of which a little different than most is, as you can see. In which well detailed and also has four bar connections around it, and where you can co connect the Exoforce arms onto it acts as what they're calling the dual lock clamps to protect the quasi cores of course but the cores themselves which just the same as in break breakout of course uh, hang on. you can detach it and code for it on the back of it. like all the same as from breakout of course and then also a little extra detail in the connecting part. 
and of course this chest plate piece of which was reused in uh, Generation 2 Bonicle as well, but at least good to see it reused then. And as, as one arm which does have the like new shoulder blade piece from Breakout still, and also size 4, oh hang on, size 4 armor piece, but in trans green, which with Ogrom will also have, but also kind of cool that is there. And also silver hand, gold spike there, and also this new sword piece introduced in this way, which we have seen carry on into most other sets, but at least nice to have in this green color, which was kind of exclusive to Raka and then to Jet Raka later in the year. And other armor, which sort of the same, but in gold, and also the shield piece of which, which is reused from the Captain America build figure set, to which we also have a couple of little blade pieces reused from the uh, uh, Ordeal of Fire wave, of course. Where you can spin around like so. so which is kind of fun, you know. And as for the head of which, if I take that off, it is it's actually, as you, we all know, it's comprised of two different pieces, but this time it's three pieces, kind of like in 2.0, of course. Well, well the head piece of which, which is kind of similar to a Glatorian head of which, but instead of Iron Man's face, instead it's just blink with a plus rod on it, and also, well, since of course it double uses, which for both the heroes and the villains, that's which I'll go over in a minute, but and also do you get also Raka's helmet here in particular, kind of similar to that of Raka Breakout's helmet, but without the scope eye, of course, and just a little smaller also. So he attaches the same way, just like so, and also just for the hero sets this time around is has a bar connection there to attach this little visor piece onto a course where it just clips on and goes in like that. It was quite neat how that is. So at least good change to it. And also a plus rod on the top. Of course you can attach different things to it. On the back part of which, which is just completely gone away with the protection on the back of which, but although this but here is where you can store his shield piece onto a course. Let's see. Oh, what else is like? Let's see. And I guess that is about it with Raka. And then onto the one that he is against is Scar Rocks. which also quite cool since also this time around is where the hero and villain sets kind of matched up whereas in Breakout there were they were just different coloring different everything but this time they kind of match up with it kind of interesting how that is but yeah so for the legs of which just the plain black paraka feet into which Dragon Bolt will also have as well and same armor piece that Raka also had, and also with the black spike pieces there. And upper legs just completely barren, which not sure why, but whatever. And the chest plate, just the basic under chest plate piece, as the rest is. And also he has four short arm pieces, which lead to the black armor pieces, and then to the uh, villain fire villain blades, but in gold, which great for mocking. And of course. And as for on his back, also so much are on this uh, stand simple mechanism thing where you to pull this thing and they flash up and down. Oh, which not sure if it's considered as a feature, but whatever. And then also I'll take this off, and this off, and then I see same headpiece for that, but used in a different way. So as for his uh, 
a face mask or in particular, which as you see, it's used like a mask and bionicle, of course, but his in particular has extra, extra bits to add to it, which consist of the Savage Planet spike pieces in trans green, which is quite cool, nice for mocking. But although in years prior, there was someone that used this as for a custom Jima character mock, uh, which, but you can use it for any special mocks if you want. And, and also, is you can also get a brain bug piece, so which, or yeah, brain insect, which caused the whole uh, brain attack, of course. Which the detailing quite interesting and all soft rubber, of course. Which, but also each villain set comes with just one of these, but in different colors, so. Scarox here in particular is in regular green, of course, and all of which do have a plus rod connection to it. And also neat thing, there was that promo poly bag, which included one of these, but in black, which is kind of interesting how that was. And so now to get these to work is I place it onto this plus rod on here and take the mask piece of which and place it on there. But all the odd thing is it's kind of the only way to make the eyes work. Because without it then it doesn't seem to have much of eyes. But still on to that is also on also what each set has with this connector piece there is to attach the tail bit onto as well. Kind of similar to that of the Paraka spine sandwich, but except they kind of pop off a little bit more e a little easily yeah, compared to them. But although what would have been nice is if he had an extra uh, limb piece to add to it to add some more posability to the arms, but maybe that would bump him up a couple more pieces then would have been just fine, but whatever. And so now to the final verdict. So overall, these I think are quite good sets for the time. Like, do you get a few nice recolors and also and also a brain bug piece in green, which add nice to add to your collection, of course. Well mostly in the case of Scarox, but Raka, which is kind of a downgrade of his previous uh, breakout versions, well, well, until uh, Jet Rock and the second wave, obviously, and also would have been nice to have the hand pieces in gold, and, but whatever. And also, Scarox did also come with plenty of good, interesting pieces as well, but but also some kind of, although Brain Attack was one of the least best waves of which, but whatever. And although I think Scarox also could have had some extra armor bits added to him, but maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. Although this time, a little bit more simple and all, but at least tell Invasion from Below also got a little bit, much, little bit better, of course, but yeah. And now, if y'all still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.